Hello, 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 and welcome to my YouTube channel. It is I, your favorite alchemist, the alchemy goddess. <laughs> Making all that noise, right? Thank you so much for tuning in. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. You are greatly appreciated. These are your monthly October 2020 Zodiac readings, general Zodiac readings. It's general, which means it's not going to all resonate with everybody. Every month it won't resonate with you. You may need to check your moon, rising, and Venus signs as well. <laughs> Let me just make that clear. <laughs> They're like, that doesn't resonate with me. It might not. Maybe it's not your month. <laughs> Maybe somebody else needs a message this month. So if you want a private reading, you can email me or reach out on Facebook or Instagram. Okay. So next up, we're going to do Gemini. I did stop with Taurus Gemini yesterday, didn't I? I don't even remember. Yep, I stopped with Taurus Gemini. So next up is my gems. How you doing, Geminis? How you doing, Geminis? Y'all good? Y'all battling any twins? Y'all battling y'all twin selves lately? Y'all good? Y'all good? You know, I think people have the interpretation of Geminis mixed up and confused. They're not two-faced. They're constantly at battle with their higher and lower selves. That's what the twin energy is about. It's not about being two-faced. Though I do know some Geminis who can be two-faced, but I know people who can be two-faced. I'm not really a, you know, I'm all for one Zodiac type of person. Like, I hate this Zodiac or I love this Zodiac. I'm not like that. I do love me some Libras, though. I ain't even gonna front. I do love me some Libras, but I love all Zodiacs. I love Libras. I love Scorpios. I love Sagittariuses. I love Capricorns. I love Aquariuses. I love Pisces. I love Aries. I love Tauruses. I love Geminis. I love Cancers. I love Leos. I love my Virgos. Okay. I love all of them. I don't like, what's the word I'm looking for? What am I look, I'm calling racist Zodiacers. <laughs> I don't like racism in Zodiacs. Stop doing that. Everybody is different and we're supposed to be different. I hate when people are like, oh, 2020 must be or whatever. Or 20, I saw a post that said 2020 must be a Scorpio. 2020 is all Zodiacs. We all here, right? And I ain't going to go there. Nonetheless, if you have not subscribed to my channel yet, do so right now by hitting the subscribe button and ringing the bell for notifications. Don't forget to hit the like button and don't forget to comment that you came by. We're going to go ahead and get started, but before I begin, one thing, two things I want to mention. Selenite crystals on sale, $6 a piece. If you buy four more, I will take a dollar off. They will be $5 a piece. Okay? <sighs> Let's get it started. Now, I only do this to get messages prior to the readings for whoever might need it. It won't necessarily resonate with the reading for the month, okay? I don't know who James is, but all I kept hearing was James Juggle Jump Juva Juva James James Juva James Jump <laughs> James. Just tell y'all what I hear, okay? So as we've been doing this every month for the past few months, I'm gonna do you and your person, how your person sees you, how you see your person, what you don't want your person to know, what your person doesn't want you to know, and the overall outcome for the month of October for the both of you, okay? So let's get it popping. Which one is which? Popping and cracking. Is cracking, crip, and blood is popping? You know what? I'm going to say let's get it snapping. <laughs> Create my own gang gang. <laughs> I'm going to get it snapping, all right? All right, y'all. <sighs> spirit, spirit, spirit. What messages do you have for Geminis? Today, for the month of October 2020, spirit. How does Gemini's person see them? What do they need to know? They see you as maybe feeling stuck. 
or not handling things, kind of letting things happen. Like you're not, you're not making any changes, but you may be like trapped or confined. Like you can find yourself though. Spirit. Mm, Libra energy with the, um, with the justice card. Maybe some of you are doing things that are maybe that are unfair. I see communication on the table. So maybe they see you as not communicating with them or communicating or talking or bringing some, some change about by communicating. I kind of feel like maybe they want you to communicate so that you can bring change to this imbalance, like this lack of movement or progress, okay? Gemini, let's see. How does, how do you see your person? Spirit, how does Gemini see their person for the month of October 2020? Okay, you see your person as not being in tuned, <laughs> not spiritually in tuned, okay? Not wanting to seek further knowledge, possibly. Being content, mysterious even, maybe? How does Gemini see the person spirit? <laughs> Three of wands, moving forward. You're trying to, they feel like you're trying to figure out how to go forward or how to move forward. Spirit, how does Gemini see their person for the month of October 2020? Mm, you may be dealing with an earth sign, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. And I feel like they see you or their, their, their feelings are getting stronger. Like they feel like your feelings could be getting stronger for them. Or you feel like they're, you feel like they're, you feel like your feelings could be getting stronger for them. Like you, or you see, I can't get it out. You see them as their feelings getting stronger for you. And that's why I feel like that's kind of like why they want to communicate. Like they want you to communicate and say how you're feeling. But you kind of see them as like a mystery. And looking for how to move this relationship further. Like what do like planning it out, figuring it out. All right, spirit, what doesn't Gemini want their person to know? Something falling apart? What you gonna shock them with something? Let's see. Spirit, please clarify that tower card for Gemini. What don't they want their person to know? Earth energy, Virgo Cap Taurus. What are you walking away from? That's interesting. You're walking away from something. Last card. Resentment. Something about money or something about walking away and being resentful. I feel like you're going to turn, you're, you're actually going to shock them. You may be walking away from them and you may be dealing with earth sign. Like, I don't know exactly why you would walk away from them, but it kind of feels like you're very resentful. Something about communication. Not communicating, not being open to communication. Spirit, how does Gemini's person... What does Gemini's person not want them to know? Your person might be building for you. Might be building something. Death card reverse. They have a difficult time with change. They, I, they don't want what you want. That's for certain. Spirit, what does Gemini's person not want them to know? They got they got plans for you. They don't. They, they definitely don't see this situation the way you see the situation. They got plans for you. They want to build with you. They don't want to let go. They don't want to. I kind of feel like maybe things have been rocky between the two of you for some time. You've been kind of off balance, feeling kind of stagnant, not really communicating, or at least they want you to communicate with them. Or maybe you are, you know, speaking your mind. And they're like, you know, but I, you know, I care about you. I want to build with you, you know? And you're like, no, like, you know, I kind of resent being with you. Like, I don't, I, like, I don't know what happens in the past, but it looks like, it looks like there's some kind of, you know, broken feelings here. You know, something has happened. Spirit, overall outcome for the month of October, 2020 for Gemini. Loss. 
Some of y'all could be having issues with money. Overall outcome for the month of October 2020 for Gemini. Unhappiness, doors closing, yeah. Some of you could be walking away. Overall outcome for the month of October 2020 for Gemini. Getting out your head finally. So maybe this has been bothering you. You know, maybe you've been having issues with money or issues with the relationship and it's been bothering you and you're finally walking away. Either you're walking away or things are finally going to, you know, fall apart. Like, I kind of feel like it was anxiety building up to it, though. Like, you were creating scenarios in your head and now it's finally going to happen. So now it gets to be relief. Like, you get to feel the relief. Spirit, overall outcome for the month of October 2020 for Gemini's person. Arrogance. Lack of goals. We are overall outcome for the month of October 2020 for Gemini's person. We are overall outcome for the month of October 2020 for Gemini's person. Way too many cards. So we are overall outcome for the month of October 2020. Recklessness. Yeah, I don't think they're going to be too happy about this breakup because I feel like you want to. Or this loss. Whatever it is. I see a lot of reckless energy. Wands. King of Wands, Knight of Wands. Reversed. They got plans, but something, I feel like it ain't going to happen. Spirit, one more card. Overall outcome for the month of October 2020 for Gemini's person. Oops. One card fell by itself, and we're going to take that one. Uh, nope, we're not. Spirit said no. Ugh. Ugh. Spirit said, no, you're not. He said, no. One more card, Spirit. Overall outcome for October 2020 for Gemini's person. Came back out anyway. But it wasn't in the right position. It needed to be reversed. No celebrations. Hard decision. Okay. You're going to have to face reality. Your person's going to have to face reality. No more back and forth. No more in and out. Too much going on. Too much imbalance. Mm. Relationship. Look at that. Two of Cups. Spirit, how does Gemini's person see them? Please clarify for the month of October 2020. How does Gemini's person see them? Okay. <laughs> Too traditional. Like, you play it by the rules. You know what I'm saying? You play by the rules. Now, remember I said they see you as being off balance? Now, here goes the justice card in the upright position. Maybe you back and forth too much with the law. Maybe you always in trouble with the law. Or maybe somebody you know is, you know, incarcerated. Or maybe someone you know has to do, you know, maybe you're going back and forth with, like, court or something. Or maybe you just up and down. You are a Gemini. Maybe you're high and low. Maybe you're just battling, you know, battling them demons. But that's how they see you, spirit. How does Gemini see their person for the month of October 2020? Unable to move forward. You see them as being unable to, like, there's like a, a, a season they need to get through. And they're not able to. It could be the season of you. <laughs> Spirit, one more card. Please clarify. How did Gemini's person see them for the month of October 2020? They see, you see them as sad and wallowing in pity, a mystery, um, trying to figure out how to keep this relationship together because, you know, they love you. You just, I, I just feel like that's how you see them, but it doesn't mean that you care. <laughs> Spirit, what doesn't Gemini want their person to know? Please clarify. You're burnt out. That's why things are falling apart. 
You tired? Spirit, one more card. What doesn't... You tired of it? It's, it's too much. I feel like you personally are going through some ups and downs within yourself, trying to balance things out. I really do. I feel like, and this is just extra. Like, they want you to open up. They want you to talk to them. They want you to communicate. They want to be there. But you're just like, I'm, I don't, I kind of need to worry about this. And I need to focus on this. And I don't need you to interrupt or distract me. Let me focus on what I need to do. You know? I get a lot of imbalanced energy here, Gemini. Spirit, what doesn't Gemini's person want them to know? Your person doesn't want you to know that they are working on something. Trying to hope that you two can stay together. They want to be a better provider for you, right? But they have no idea how to do it. <laughs> they don't want to let go, but they don't know how to be what you're looking for. Because I kind of feel like if they could provide more, you could, wouldn't be so off balance. Like, you kind of trying to maintain everything in life. Money, school maybe, children, you know, you got a lot going on, personal things. You know what I'm saying? So, spirit, overall outcome for the month of October 2020 for Gemini. Remember I said losses. Yeah, not knowing how to move forward. You just don't know how. Like, you just, like, you don't want to move forward with them. I feel like they want to move forward with you, but you don't want to move forward with them. You're going to free yourself mentally, though. I feel like a door is closing, like I said, and you will take some kind of loss. Maybe you're dealing, like I said, with a financial loss. Spirit, overall outcome for Gemini for October 2020. Please clarify that three of wands reversed. Three of pentacles. You want to build, though. Like, I feel like you want to build. But for some reason, there's, like, the support. It's like... You want to build with them, but for some reason, they just can't figure out what to do. Like, they don't know how to be a provider. Like, they want to. They don't have an idea of how to do it. Spirit, please clarify. Gemini's person. It would fall like that. Oh, there it goes. Oh, where is it? Uh, thank God for yoga. Phew. All right. So... The worst is over for them, okay? Spirit, please clarify. The worst is over for your person. I do see y'all breaking up, though. Like, or at least being apart from each other. I won't say breaking up, being apart, because they're doing something reckless. They still love you. They care very much about you. They're going to have to make a really hard decision, you know? I feel like after this, there's no coming back. There's no turning back. And I, like I said, I do see y'all being apart. So, Gemini, you may, you, you, you may get what you really are wishing for, but the thing is, is that really what you want? You might just feel that way right now, but is it really what you want? Okay, spirit, final confirmation. How does Gemini's person see them? You dealing with a repressed feelings and you're not sharing it with them. You're not sharing your emotions with them. You're communicating, but you're not really saying how you feel. Okay? And you are going through a lot. Maybe you should. Spirit, how does Gemini see their person in October 2020? Final confirmation, please. Spirit, how does Gemini see their person? Moving forward. Moving out of a cycle. I told you over here with the, will of, with the world card, they were trying to. You see them trying to get out of it. You see them finally moving on to a new phase. Probably not with you at this point. Spirit, what doesn't Gemini want their person to know in the month of October 2020? Final confirmation. You're tired. You are so tired. Nothing you do works. I feel like you're trying to grow. You're trying to expand. You're trying like, and I'm not saying nothing that you do works, but with this specific situation, nothing is working. Okay. You feel pretty drained, tired, exhausted. Um, you've picked all of your flowers too soon. Like, you have nothing left. You know what I'm saying? Um, I see, like, lack of prosperity. You know, it's just too much. And that's why I kind of feel like this is your person. You you kind of need them to be more stable. And that's the issue. Okay? Spirit, Gemini's person, what don't they want them to know? No. Okay. 
Spirit, what doesn't Gemini's person want them to know? They're putting things into perspective. They do want you. They do. But they realize they don't know what the hell they want. They, 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 don't, they realize they don't know what they need to do. What, what, what am I supposed to do to do this? So they're putting things into perspective, okay? They're thinking very logically right now. Spirit, overall outcome for the month of October 2020 for Gemini. Gemini, you're going to focus on a new project, self. Remember, I told you, you got a lot of up and down energies here with you. Battling a lot of dark and light with yourself. A lot of repressed emotions, traumas, probably from childhood you need to deal with. Things seem to be falling apart for you. You know, you've invested, but it's not, it's not prosperous. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, you need to worry about handling what's going on in you within you first before you even worry about anybody else. Okay? Spirit, overall outcome for the month of October 2020 for Gemini's person, please. Celebrations. Moving forward, still things to be spoken though. So I'm going to say this, everything hasn't been spoken. So definitely speak what needs to be spoken. Speak the unspoken. Okay. That's magical. The things you won't share, the things you feel like you can't share, share them. Okay. I feel like you're very off balance, Gemini. And a part of that has to do with the person in your life because they can't balance. They can't help. You know, it's, it's not that other people should give us balance, but if they can't balance this out in some way, shape, or form, what do we have them in our lives for? You know what I'm saying? If you're not helping me, you're hurting me, right? So just keep that in mind. Um, be very careful with your actions and the way you move this month because I feel like a lot of it could lead to chaotic energy and, um, you know, possibly some kind of dismay. So if I said that right. So be careful, all right? But remember, focus on yourself, Gem. It's time. All right, y'all. That's it, my Geminis, for your October 2020 General Zodiac reading. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If this reading has resonated with you, please be so kind. Just leave a comment down below in the comment box for me. Don't forget to subscribe. Bring the bell for notifications. Hit the like button. Share with your friends. Share with your family. Share with everybody that you know. Okay? Um... As always, if you're looking for a private, personal, more in-depth reading, you can always email me, theblackcosmicoldrian at gmail.com, or you're more than welcome to hit me up on Facebook or Instagram, okay? I'll leave all the links down below for you guys. If you want to purchase a crystal, don't forget, you can hit me up as well. And I believe that's it. Don't forget to check out tomorrow and today's Daily Tea and Tarot, and I will catch you guys next month. Enjoy your month of October gems. As always, y'all know what it is. I ain't got nothing but love for y'all. Peace. <laughs>